Okay, Fallout 420B. It says, suppose you want to dilute your solution of sodium carbonate. It doesn't matter what it is. Dilution, we know it's M1V1 equals M2V2. Okay? And uh, from part A to one-tenth its molarity. So, uh, assuming you got the first part right, it says the molarity is 0 0.156 molar. You want to go to one-tenth of that. Okay. How much water would you need to add to your solution? And uh, let's see if it has the volume. Oh, it does have the volume. It's 200.0 milliliters. Is that okay? So what you're going to do, uh, I think the easiest way might be to think of it like this. You're going to go from molarity 1 one to molarity two which is really one tenth of molarity one you're going to go down by ten for the final molarity times v2 is that okay well to keep your like life in sync if this goes down by ten this has to go up by ten does that kind of make sense? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, let me write it this way. So M1V1 equals M2V2. They say, what if I said 10 over 10 times M1V1? I can do that, right? I can multiply by 10 over 10. That's just 1. Okay. Well, let me move that 10 over 10 around. M1 over 10 times V1 times 10. Is that okay? I just shuffled it around. What this is essentially saying, if you decrease something by 1 tenth, like the molarity by 1 tenth, you have to multiply the volume by 10. If you had to decrease this by 1 half, the volume will double. Is that okay? So that's essentially what I'm asking there. So you would just multiply that volume by 10. That would be the final volume. Oh, just a second. That would be the final volume. The question is asking how much do you add. So it would be uh, 200 times 10, because the volume goes up by 10, minus the initial volume of 200, that's how much you add, whatever that is. Okay, there's a question, and is there a question on this? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, where did you get 10 from? From the question. Oh, from the question. Can you read the question? Yeah, sure. Suppose you wanted to dilute your solution of sodium carbonate from part A, from previous part, to one tenth its molarity. Uh, how much water would you need to add? Well, I'm diluting it to one-tenth the molarity, so to keep everything balanced out, I've got to multiply the volume by 10. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. So, uh, I'm multiplying by the volume by 10 and subtracting from the initial. Let's see if I can do it another way. Maybe that's too painful to think that, that method. If you don't like that method, then you could say uh, that, let's see, the initial molarity what you got is 0 0.156. <coughs> That's the initial molarity. The final molarity, if it's diluted to 1 tenth, it's 1.56 divided by 10. The initial volume is 200 milliliters. So if you'd prefer, you could do it this way. 0 0.156 M1 times V1, 200 equals M2, 0 0.156 divided by 10, times V2, the unknown final volume. You can do it that way too. Multiply it out, this will be 200 times 10. So, you'll get V2 equals 2,000. Is that okay? And then you'd go 2,000 minus 200, 
Meaning you started with 200, you ended with 2,000. What's the difference? Is how much you add. That'd be 1,800 milliliters. Did one of those methods work out for you? No. Okay, there we go. No worries, this is your turn. Okay. Good. Anybody else had a question on this one?